It may be one of the most unorthodox friendships in our area. A former meth dealer and the detective turned police chief he once ran from. And now both are part of each other's inner circles. New tonight, our Christine Byers tells us how this unlikely relationship formed. Ink is personal. This actually came to me in a dream. The design, the inspiration, the symbolism. For tattoo artist Big Dave Kanoi, it's art that not only takes skill and a steady hand, it takes time. How many hours total would you say you've been under Dave's needle? Over 50. All his design. It's a piece and a moment that's been in the making for much longer than that. 10, 15 years ago, you never would have imagined. Knowing what I knew about him then, <laughs> not a chance. I honestly didn't think he'd get out of prison, to be honest. When people get in trouble and they do that and then they realize it and they take that opportunity to change their life and actually truly change their life, how can you not want to be around that? I really never saw this life as even a possibility. At 17, my parents kicked me out. Drugs and alcohol became a huge part of my life and a huge part of my everyday coping methods and um, eventually got me to uh, manufacturing meth. Jinxed was a newly minted member of the Narcotics Task Force when Kanoi was at the height of his meth game. I knew him when he was in that other life. That's a good way to put it. Eventually, Jinx units started catching up with Kanoi. Everybody around me ended up getting arrested and I finally turned myself in just because I, I wanted to start over. I didn't want to run anymore. He pleaded guilty to marijuana possession and spent about two years behind bars. And I'm still that same person and just aimed in a direction that works. In 2006, Kanoi opened his own tattoo shop. I have been fortunate enough to build relationships with um, several bands. I've tattooed on Joe Buck and David Freeze, and I just went down and tattooed on some of Dave Chappelle's camp. I waited for this all my life. I got to film a, a TV show myself and uh, called Tattoos and Turnpikes and had offers for several television networks. He's most proud of organizing a free annual community festival, the Ink Spot Block Party. It's where Jinxed and Kanoi reconnected, this time on the right side of the law. Some of the guys I know from up there said, hey, Dave's actually tattooing. This is kind of what he's doing and this, that, and the other. And I, it took me a minute. I won't lie. Back then, the police were the enemy. Traditionally, people that go through that don't want to necessarily deal with cops ever again. That was then. This is now. He's probably, probably the best human being that I know. Hands down. For the IT, Christine Byers, five on your side.